this is the first comprehensive renovation to the building in over a hundred years. Today, HDS is a really diverse, vibrant community, over 30 different faith traditions, and the building had not yet caught up with its new mission. This beautiful old uh, Gothic building, the only one at Harvard, needed some tender loving care and restoration and to have students back in person and these beautiful new spaces for them to be in just felt like almost a double miracle actually. One thing I really found walking through the building when it was being reconstructed was the number of craftspeople we met who were really excited about what they were doing. This was a project like no other they had worked on. It was a palpable and visible sense of pride in the quality of the woodworking and the quality of the roofing and the sense of the sacred trust that we'd inherited and wanted to pass on. The uh, school's always been a very diverse place and you might have a widening of uh, that at the uh, moment. You had people from a large number of denominations, traditions. I was very struck when we went through the building at all of the comfortable spaces for students together informally. Of course, the space that looks out to the outside and, and sort of brings the outside in is just wonderful. The capacity of the James Room is something like 200 people. And that was one of the big reasons why we did this, actually, is to avoid having to take our party elsewhere when we just didn't have the space to accommodate it. This space is a centralized location. It's enclosed. It really feels like it's our div school space. It has been the perfect space to just casually encounter my friends and have those meaningful conversations that we've been missing. This one thing the pandemic has taught us is we need to go out and connect with nature. For me, it's actually this green space. It's the first thing that anyone coming to our campus for the first time would see, and to have this available to us is quite a gift. A great development of the project was the emergence of the multi-faith space. If we are talking about the spiritual life in any tradition or no tradition, we want abundant light and we want community. We also want to be alone as we are alone together in our spiritual lives. So we need some solitude and community. And I think this room has the capacity for both. We feel a lovely blend of the old with the new without eclipsing the old, but carrying it forward into the next hundred years. The uh, school ought to be very uh, thankful that there are persons like Susan and uh, Jim Schwartz who have created a uh, ministry of helping uh, others. On behalf of our whole school community, uh, I'm grateful for what has been accomplished. It's an enormous gift for us, and it is really a miracle, I think, that we've brought it to this very happy conclusion.